On today's video, I meet up with what I believe to be one of the best Muay Thai female athletes here in Gosamui. I was able to sit down and grab the story of what it's really like to train in Thailand's most respected martial art. And this is what she had to say. Hi, I'm Jasmine Lopez and this is my Muay Thai story. I was born here in Thailand, raised on Koh Samui my entire life. Um, I literally grew up with this sport around me. I would just be out around on the streets and you would see the trucks going by with the speakers and the posters of fighters and they would be screaming, oh, fight night tonight, 9 p.m., don't miss it. And when I was younger, I never thought too much about it until I started doing the sport and the idea of fighting just became closer and closer to something that I wanted to do. I first started in Muay Thai when I was 13 years old, so back in 2014. My dad was doing it with his friends and they were really getting into it. And then I think he kind of wanted me to be a bit cooler, wanted to rough me up a little bit or something. So he got me into doing it and I liked it, you know. I moved away to finish my education. And then when I decided to come back, I decided that I actually wanted to do a fight because I was training every day and loads of people were asking me, oh, do you fight? Have you ever had a fight before? And I was like, no. And they're like, really? Like, they just look surprised. Like, it's something that they would assume I would do. So I was like, okay, maybe fighting actually could be a good option for me. And the whole journey of my first fight begun. So for those of you that don't know, Muay Thai is the martial art of Thailand. It is the art of eight limbs because it uses your fists, elbows, knees and legs. And no other sport really has that as unique as it is on its own. What it is to me is, it's a kind of meditation in a way, not only physical but mentally. It's, it's a discipline like no other. You know, when you come to a session, you come to train, the world around you just disappears and you literally only focus in that session. You focus on yourself, pushing yourself, wanting to progress, wanting to improve in every way. And after every session, you just feel, you feel amazing. You get an endorphin rush like no other. It's insane. This sport it just, it pushes me so far from, from my limits. Like, especially during this COVID time when we've been feeling lonely, we've been feeling down, we've had so much bad news every day about the, the effects of it. And I'm telling you, the Muay Thai has been my savior. It's been getting me out of the house. It's making me determined to do something with my life. And it keeps me physically active, it keeps my mind active. And it's just, it's been a way to really allow me to connect with myself and also other people. As hard as it is waking up at 5.30, 6 a.m. and going out for a run, like most people don't want to do that. I definitely didn't want to do that. But growing up here on Samui, I would run up and down the hills from the gym and as tiring and how much energy that took out of me, I would come up to the top of the gym and I would be greeted by beautiful views, either of the beach, of the mountains, of the wide, big ocean, you know? And I would always just take a minute after my run just to breathe, just really look at where I am. And I would always have this moment of gratitude, thankful that I grew up here, thankful that I live here thankful that I can practice this sport. So Muay Thai, it's, it's a form of art. It's a self-defense combat sport, but it's a pretty violent, violent sport.
throughout history, it's mainly been male dominated. It's only in the last 50 years that female fighters have started to emerge. And I feel like this sport really just empowers the woman in me. What I look like is not the person that I am. And I feel like with Muay Thai, I can really bring out who I truly am. And it's just such a release and a feeling of freedom. Being able to see this incredible woman up close and personal has really opened my eyes to the world of female competitive fighting. And it's truly passionate to see such a young, ambitious person striving to push herself through the toughest challenges she faces. Not only has this made me understand no matter how big of the fight, you can always overcome any obstacle you face in life. This is for the people who doubt themselves, to the young women who strive to be great, and for the fighters who will never back down. This is the warrior in me. to view people around me and the things I do with a whole new perspective. And I'm excited for the challenges ahead because this is just the beginning. <laughs>